Hey everyone, welcome back to my channel. Today's video is going to be my first update for my Project Pam this year. And normally I do updates like every three months, but I chose products that take a long time to use up this year for very specific reasons. So when the three month mark rolled around, I really hadn't made a ton of progress that I could actually share with you guys. But now we are about, what, like four and a half, five months in, because I think I started in the middle of January, so somewhere around there. And I have made some really good progress that I'm excited Excited to share with you guys. If you've never seen a Project Pan video, people do them very differently. There aren't necessarily specific rules, but the goal is to either hit pan on your products or use them up completely. And for me, my goal this year was to choose products that take a little bit longer to use up to remind myself how long it takes to go through makeup. Because when I know that it takes six months to use up a powder, or even longer sometimes, I'm less likely to go out and buy multiple powders that I don't necessarily need for my collection. Now I do review makeup on my YouTube channel, so that kind of affects some of my purchasing decisions, but I do think that this is just a great way to keep your collection in check and just always be just reframing your mindset when it comes to buying new makeup. It's totally okay to buy new makeup. I love trying new makeup, but I also really try to make an effort to use products up in my collection. And I'm actually going to do a video at the end of the year where I show you all of the makeup that I used up this year. So I'm looking forward to doing that. But in the meantime, let me update you guys on my progress. I did use up the Physician's Formula Healthy Powder. I'm happy to say I was able to use up the majority of this. And then once I got to the very bottom, it did kind of crumble and break apart, which can be the case, especially with softer powders. But I was able to use up pretty much all of this, which was really nice. I am someone who is able to make it through powder pretty consistently because I use powder every single day. And I just genuinely enjoy having different options in my collection, but it was nice to be able to get through this one. I feel like I have other powders that I like a little bit better than this one. So by the end, I wasn't reaching for it as often. So I am proud of myself for using it up completely. I am getting so close to using up the Hourglass Ambient Lighting Powder. If you guys have tried any Hourglass Powder product, Products, then you know how much effort it takes to actually hit pan on these. These feel like never ending powders. The powders themselves are so lightweight and they're so firmly pressed that when you use it, it feels like you don't even make a dent in it, even if you use it consistently day after day. So that just goes to show how much I actually like this product. I feel like it's getting a little bit more difficult to use because I typically use it with like a very large fluffy brush just to diffuse all of my makeup together. and. Obviously, like I used up the majority of it. So now I've been taking like a smaller brush and just kind of running it along the edges and blending it on like my, what is this? My under eye area. And that still works really well for me just to brighten things up. So I am going to continue to use this until the end of the year. It's still usable. This isn't a product that I feel like I can repress. Like sometimes when the product gets like this, people actually like break it apart and repress it in the center of the pan but this is kind of a weird pan. So I think I'm just gonna keep going with it. And then at the end of the year, I might just be done with it, but I am still enjoying it. And I feel like I've been able to make really good progress on it. I've also made really good progress on the Urban Decay Stay Naked The Fix Powder Foundation. Now I haven't been using powder foundation as much over probably like the past month or two during the beginning of the winter time and heading into spring. It really was a product that I was reaching for very, very consistently. But I also feel like this is just a little bit too light for me at this point. So I might just kind of hang on to this and maybe reach for it more so once winter rolls back around or like October, November, and December. But these days, I'm reaching for like a very mattifying powder on top of either my foundation or my tinted moisturizer. So I don't typically go in with a powder foundation a whole lot. I did tell myself that I can't purchase a new powder foundation until I use this one up completely, and I still stand by that. So if I want to use the powder foundation, I have to make this one work for me. Like I said, it's just a little bit too light, so I don't know how much use I'll get out of it, but this does last a very, very long time. I've used it pretty consistently this year, with the exception of like the past month or month and a half, and I, I can't believe I still have product left in here. So this does feel like a never-ending powder. Some powders I go through very, very quickly, that's not the case with this one. And I find that interesting because when I use it, I'm using it all over my face. Like I really buff it into my skin, but it seems to last a long time. I did make some progress on the Smashbox Photo Finish Primer Water. I made a little mark. So the first mark is where I started. The second one is where I'm at right now. It doesn't look like I've used that much, but 
that's kind of good because it is a little bit more of an expensive product. The reason why I put this in my project pan is because it makes such a difference in my makeup routine when I use it. And I always forget to use it. So just having it in my project pan kind of reminds me or I guess gives me the permission in a good way to use it consistently and I love it. It just refreshes my skin before I go in with any makeup and I feel like when your skin is hydrated, everything just goes on really beautifully. So I love using this before I go in with my makeup after I do my skincare and I just think that it is one of my favorite products. I've loved it for years. I just feel like I tend to forget to use it. So I'm really glad I have this in my project pan because it's just been really nice to use again. So when it comes to foundation, I had two foundations in my project pan. The first one is this one. It is the Bite Beauty Change Maker. I forgot to make a mark on this. I'll make a mark before I do the close-up shot so you can see how much progress I've made. It's kind of hard to tell with these squeezy tubes, but I think you can see through it once the product kind of settles. So the reason why I wasn't using this one a whole lot in the beginning of the year is just because it is a little bit dark for my skin tone, but what I've been doing is mixing it with a lighter foundation. So today I mixed this foundation with the Fenty Pro Filter in the shade 140. The Fenty foundation is a little bit too light for me. This one is a little bit too dark, so I feel like they balance each other out really well. It mixes really well with any foundation that I use, whether it is more of a full coverage matte foundation, a tinted moisturizer. This is just like a very beautiful smoothing formula. So it is my goal to finish it up by the end of the year just because I do like it. It's just kind of sitting in my collection because it's slightly too dark. So when I did my foundation declutter, I didn't get rid of this one because I felt like it was something I could still use and just kind of use as a mix-in foundation. I did have the Smashbox Hydrating Foundation in my project pan, but after I used that a few times, I realized I didn't like the foundation and I think it might have expired because it separated. I couldn't get it to mix back together. It was a little bit older, which is why I did put that one in my project pan. So I actually ended up decluttering that one and instead I'm working on using up the ColourPop Pretty Fresh Tinted Moisturizer. I feel like this is getting a little bit older as well because sometimes when I use it, it is kind of separated. As long as I keep it mixed and like stored upright, it's fine. So I just want to make an effort to finish it up before it does expire. I don't think it's expired. I feel like it still applies well and it doesn't irritate my skin or anything like that. But I do enjoy this and now that summer is here, I think I'll reach for this one a little bit more often. So I'll kind of revisit this at the end of summer when I do my next update, but hopefully I can use up the majority of this. This has lasted me such a long time. Time, you get a lot of product in here, which is nice. You get 1.45 fluid ounces, and it's not something I really used during the first half of the year. So I think heading into the summer, when I'm reaching for something a little bit lighter, this will be nice to have in my project pan. I think the cheek products have been the most difficult for me. The ColourPop Super Shock Blush in the shade Brute Flu is so beautiful. I'll be honest and say I don't think I've used this very much over the past few months because I must have misplaced it. I actually couldn't find it for a long time and then I found it in like a random drawer. So I need to get on the ball and start using this again. I love this formula. I love this color. Again, I think it will be perfect for the summertime because it is more of a cream product, but it's just very effortless, very easy to apply. So I don't think I'll have an issue hitting pan on it by the end of the the year. I don't know if I'll use it up completely just because I didn't get a lot of use out of it over the past few months, but I'm going to try. And then the Too Faced Chocolate Gold Bronzer is it's one of my favorite formulas. Mine looks rough, but it's because I do use it so much. I kind of took a break from using this because I felt like it was a little bit too dark for me and it would almost look a little bit orangey, especially when I was filming YouTube videos. But again, heading into summer, I'll definitely get a lot of use out of this. I love the formula. It's so blendable, so smooth. And I think I did make a little bit of progress over the past few months, but this will pretty much be what I'm focusing on during the summertime in terms of bronzers, and I don't think I'll have an issue. I think I will get there eventually. It just, again, it's a good reminder that it takes forever to go through bronzer. Even if you're someone that is super heavy handed with your cheek products, I feel like bronzers seem to last forever for some reason. I have made it through bronzers in the past. I think that I've probably used up maybe like two or three over the past few years, and I don't have a ton of bronzer in my collection, no, maybe even more than that because I've gone through the balms, take home the bronze a few times and also the butter bronzer a few times. I've hit pan on an e.l.f. one. I'm getting close to this one, but I do love the formula. It 
it just, it reminds me, I don't need to go out and buy like 15 different bronzers. One thing I was missing from my project pan was lip products and I don't know why, but over the past year, I've just wanted to buy so many lip products, even though I haven't gotten as much use out of them. So because of that, I told myself I need to put two lip products in my project pan. Again, just to serve as a reminder that it takes a long time to go through lip products. And when I see like five or six lip glosses calling my name at the store, Maybe I can purchase one, but I don't need all five. So I chose two products that I use fairly regularly, and it will be interesting to see how long it takes to go through these. So I started using these at the beginning of May, and I have the Profusion Juicy Lip Tint, and this is basically just a lip oil. It's my favorite lip oil right now. So I love using this every single day. It leaves my lips feeling really hydrated and soft and nourished, and I'm just curious to see how long it's going to take to go through this. So I made the mark on the back, on the back. When the wand is actually in the bottle, that's how much product is left in here. So we'll see how long it takes to go through this. I really like this. It's a $4 product. It looks good. It feels good. But I think practically I will be able to use it up by the end of the year. I'm just curious to see how long it's going to take me. I also chose the Ulta Beauty Tinted Jelly Balm. I have Mango. This is like my number one lip product right now. I love this product. It's like a very jelly-like hydrating lip balm. It feels so good, it smells so good, it looks amazing on the lips, and it is my number one lip balm right now. It adds like a hint of color without being too much, but again, it's so comfortable, so perfect for every day. So it doesn't roll down, so I can't tell exactly how much I've used, I think I broke it, and I don't wanna roll it all the way up, but again, I just started using it at the beginning of May, so we'll see. I'll keep you guys posted, but lip products are like the one product that is impossible for me to use up. I know that I've had lip products in my project pan in the past, but I feel like I've only successfully used up one lip product. No, 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 that's not true. So I did use up a Buxom lip gloss in a project pan, and I've been able to use up two mini Fenty glosses. So that's pretty much it after all these years. So because of that, I really need to like, just stop adding so many new lip products to my collection. It's fun to have a variety, but at the same time, I just feel like that tends to be wasteful for me personally because I just never get through them. So that is my Project Pan update for 2021. Thank you guys so much for watching today's video, hanging out with me. I would love to know how you're doing. If you guys are doing any sort of Project Pan, let me know in the comment section below how it's going for you guys. I would love to hear from you. For me, this one is more about like, uh, what's the saying? The marathon, not the sprint. Like in the past, I've tried to use up a ton of products and get through them very quickly. But this time around, I'm just trying to get through like these very specific products, even if it takes a little bit longer. So I am curious to see if I can actually do it by the end of the year. We'll see. I'll keep you posted. But I hope you guys have a great day. I'll see you very soon with a new video. Bye.